All right, what's up guys today? Kind of gonna go over some of the Minuteman attire that you should be wearing. Uh, so we're gonna kind of go over like the start. So when you're out here in the brush, like I am, uh, uniform wise, you should kind of just be wearing uh, a transitionable like loadout kind of thing or an outfit. So as you can see right now, down here I got like a combat well my my helmet and ruck and there I keep like a regular baseball cap so I could take this off my combat tops off stash it and then switch into a more civilian attire so when you're doing that picking like a base layer pants is pro probably not going with like camo pants more like something less militant so like cargo pants that are like khaki, a green, maybe a tan or something. And then for your top, which you can easily dish, ditch or whatever, is maybe something, depending on your environment, uh, you can pick your camo for that. And then for the rest of your boys or your crew, everybody wearing the same thing. So what I recently did was running a camo top, M81, with uh, khaki bottoms or OD green or some sort of cargo pant bottoms. And then so, and then underneath this, I like wear a black t-shirt. So if I needed to drop the top, I have like a normal black t-shirt and something that's doesn't scream tactical. Like I'm wearing a Miller Lite t-shirt underneath this. And then uh, it, I'd probably pick some subtle color that's not going to be super stand out like a red or a blue or a yellow or something like that. Not something super bright, more something dark, maybe like a brown, black, maybe a green, depending on what it is, like a beer shirt or something. And then wearing that as your undershirt. And then, like I said, keeping like a baseball hat for, say, if you between transitioning from, you know, the woods into a more urban environment to blend in a little better. It's kind of what I mean by uh, carrying like a black shirt. Like I have a Miller Lite shirt on underneath of this. And then I have a cat hat on and that looks less conspicuous than I did before. This is what I kind of mean. I can blend in, have a concealed carry, you know, appendix. Uh, maybe these pants don't look the best, but it's better than wearing like BDU pants or uh, multi cams or something like that on well, my pants are cries because cries look super tactical and cool so that's all going to raise red flags compared to like you know some cargo pants that make you just kind of look like a blue collar guy so other than my ma other than the my mask that kind of makes me stand out a little bit but you know what i'm saying guys as shoes goes um probably not a combat boot maybe a, more of a hiking boot because if I dropped all this, put the other stuff on, I'd, I'd look like I wouldn't belong in the woods. But with this stuff on, I look a little more, I blend into the woods a little better. Uh, especially with the camo and everything. And then also kind of just going out here, like walking through here, it's like, there's a lot of thorns. So picking like a good thick pair of pants that can, uh, that aren't going to get torn up too much from thorns. It's probably a, a way to go also. And then also taping up your uh, your ruck, the, the loose straps on your ruck, or any of your equipment. If you had them like dangling down from your chest rig or your uh, sling or something like that, you don't want that stuff because it becomes a snag hazard, and then you're getting caught up on everything. And some other stuff like uh, you don't want to get your lenses scratched up. So having scope caps, I still need to get some, but having scope caps, put, taping your muzzle on either your, if you don't have a suppressor, taping uh, that off, or if you do have a suppressor, taping the end of the suppressor off, because you don't want debris getting caught up in there, and then ruining your stuff. And then also, chest rigs are great. Um, probably stick to a chest rig or plate carriers. They're cheaper. They kind of do all stuff you need it to, besides protection but you can carry a good fighting load. I have eight mags on my kit right now, and I'm ditching a radio. Maybe uh, someone recommended getting a little flyer, uh, a little 
insider flap for inside my chest rig to run my, my little radio. I'm not too worried about them because they're Bayo fangs and they're cheap and I mean they'll do the job but they're not going to last. And then yeah just picking good pair of cargo pants, shoes, some sort of combat top. Um, I want to recommend those uh what do you call it ones that the, that the combat tops the uh ones that have like a thin stuff here for your plate carrier and then you can have your a pocket on your sleeve for patches i probably want to recommend those uh for the, the uh, minuteman roll because you're not going to be able to run stuff underneath of it it's lighter um yeah it breathes more but um for like an all-around environment just like a good combat top right or regular uniform top whether that be ocp m81 dcu um tiger stripe whatever kind of camo you feel like picking out but make sure you guys all look somewhat similar so you guys can tell each other apart from your enemy because you don't want to be like in they are in ukraine everybody wearing fucking multi-cam so you're putting tape on each other so you guys can identify each other because um, you don't want to look like your enemies and that's all point of having uniforms and stuff like that so